Okay, so notice in code blocks, we're able to create a console application and it automatically generates the code for a hello world program. And we can actually build that code and you will see in the build log that it has built successfully and it will show you how much time it took for that program to build. Or alternatively, you could just select build and run and it will show you some lines of code at the bottom and then it will launch command prompt and you will see your hello world displayed in that command prompt. And notice after you use that build and run feature, the build log will show you how long it took or how long that program ran for. And we see a similar behavior in Microsoft Visual Studio. But we notice that when it comes down to Visual Studio code, we see where it uses an internal command prompt and it does not really open an external one to run the hello world. Everything is done inside it. So it, it begs the question, can Visual Studio code be configured to run the code just like how Microsoft Visual Studio does it and how CodeBlocks does it? Let's find out. So this is our simple Hello World program. And as you can see here, the Hello World was displayed. Now to figure out how this is done, we need to first recall how VS Code actually runs code or how code is actually run in this interface. And it is done by Code Runner. That was the extension that we would have installed. That is it right here. So in so what's really taking place is that code runner is actually what is responsible for running this code. So this is where our answer or our solution is going to lie. So let me close these and we're going to now locate code runner because code runner has its has its own task or its own code that deals with running any code that you type in the interface. So we're going to go to settings, type in code. code runner map right and we're going to get this settings.json file let me just backspace here so this would be the default code that you will see under the cpp section so this is just simply allowing you to run the code inside of the internal command prompt but remember we want to run it in the external command prompt so we're going to have to do some editing to this so through some research, I was able to find this code right here that does that job. So I'm just going to delete the previous code that you would have seen, and I'm just going to fix it up a little bit. Basically, just delete the spaces so that it is a little bit more compact. And once you have that code pasted there, you another important thing you need to do is that section at the top that says run in terminal you need to set that to false it is very important because if you don't do that it won't work so once you have that now you can now save your file and then you can go back to your hello world and then you can click on that run icon and it should run so as you can see it is actually indeed running so that is how you do it now, there are some improvements that can be made because if you remember from code blocks, we saw that after the command prompt was launched, we saw it said process when the hello world was displayed, we saw process return zero and the believer an open bracket, close bracket with a zero x zero inside. And we also saw execution time and we saw the time it took to execute. And we even saw a section that says press any key to continue. So those are some improvements that I would definitely like to make. So as time passes, I will upload videos on the progress that I have made with these changes that I am trying to make. So that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful. And I will see you again in the next video. All right. Peace.